on the wonk this morning. It was out on the wine last night, that's why. <laughs> how funny. I don't know how to stop it being wonky. Okay. Turn the volume off on this, otherwise I'm hearing myself in stereo. Um, even though you're not jumping around, guys, please make sure you've got a drink, yeah? You buy a bunch of grapes, right? And when they're really fresh and they're really crisp and they're really lovely, you have loads. And then they sit there for two days, start to resemble a raisin, and you end up just throwing them away. Yeah, see? What a waste. I threw out like three plums this morning as well. So we've got mixed levels, work where you feel comfortable. Beginners, your level is level one, all right? Oh, it's gone very dark on that screen all of a sudden. There we go, that's better. Let me open my other curtain and then we'll make a start. waiting for the um, next person from the shop next to come and collect a parcel. So we had a parcel delivered yesterday and I had loads of stuff that I'd ordered from the sale. I put this top on and my husband went, oh that looks really nice, you look really nice in that. Yeah, it's going back now. I'm not having that. I can't have him saying I look nice. What's that about? Okay, so we need to get in a good standing position, all right? Cut the top of my head off, look. We'll get in a standing position. It's gone dark again. And then we'll mobilize a little bit to get the body a little bit warmer and then we'll bring it down to the floor, okay? But there's no jumping around. When I say get the body warmer, it's just literally a little bit of a mobility kind of um, warm up. So, standing nice and upright, toes and knees point forwards, shoulders down and relaxed. Make sure that you are balanced and central. So you're gently rocking from side to side, forwards and backwards, Making sure you've got an even distribution of body weight across both of your feet. Making sure you've got that nice long posture, straight line, not lopsided, not leaning. Finding the neutral spine, so you're just tilting the pelvis forwards and backwards. You're just finding the position where your back feels the most comfortable and you're getting that natural lordotic curve, okay? So with the back in neutral, you're gonna find and engage your core muscles, your pelvic floor. Now that is the muscle from within that you would use to stop mid-flow. Slightly different for a man, it's in your testicle area, so if you think about when you go to the doctors and you have that exam and they say cough and you feel that pull up, that is your pelvic floor, okay? So you're gonna draw up from within to floor number 10. So imagine a lift, you've gone as high as you can, you're gonna come down to floor number five, down to floor number three, and you're gonna hold it there. So at floor three, you've got around about 30% engagement, which hopefully you can now maintain from this point on. Then imagine you've got a belt around your middle, guys. You've got 10 notches on your belt. Pull it in as tight as you can. You're gonna take it out to notch five, out to notch three, and leave it there, okay? 
So you've pulled in and around. You've got a tightened corset feeling around the body. 30%, level three, notch three, pull up, pull round. Holding from the core and the neutral spine, we will then breathe from the rib cage, what's known as lateral thoracic breathing. So you're gonna take the hands on the ribs, fingertips touch, we take a deep breath in. We open the rib cage and release. Take a deep breath in and release. Good, relax the arms down. You're just gonna to begin to pedal through your feet one side to the other and allow your shoulders to gently rotate one way and the other way. Lovely, place the feet down, lift up onto the toes, lengthen the body and release. So your good posture, good core strength all helps to improve your balance. So make sure they're all in place and release. Good, you're gonna take a nice wide step out to the left, reach up and over with the right arm and then step the other way. Now the leg that you're moving, you are gonna bend. The leg that stays still, you are gonna lengthen. Lateral flexion, opening up through the waist, lengthening through the back, and then holding it in the middle here. Arms come up, okay? Shoulders down and relaxed. Breathe in. As you breathe out, take a rotation round to the left. Breathe in, come back to the center. Breathe out, rotate round to the right. Breathing, come back to the center. Breathe out, rotate. Breathe in, return. Breathe out, rotate. Breathe in, return. You're just gonna take one more to each side. Try and keep the hips nice and still so that movement is coming through your back rather than the whole of the body. And then release the arms back down in the center. Just take one foot forward, balance. Circle the leg round, lift the knee up. Toe comes forward, circle the leg round, lift the knee up, hold it here. Just rotate that ankle one way and the other and place that foot down. Other leg comes forward, point the toe for me, circle round, lift the knee and balance. This is where if you did have a cheeky wine, it might hinder your balance. Ankle one way and the other. I haven't had a drink for a very long time. Oh no, last Saturday I had a glass of wine. And I've still got the rest of the bottle in the kitchen. How long will I keep for? It's red wine. I had like a small glass. Look, look, a small glass. That's not even small, is it? In the pub now, you're like that. Ah. Anyway, I digress. Breathe in, chin to the chest. Breathe out, gently roll down through the back. Soften your knees. Allow the arms to hang and relax. And then when you're ready, breathe in. Breathe out, begin to roll up through the back, rebuild the spine. Reach the top, relax the shoulders, reset your posture. Breathe in, chin to the chest. Breathe out, gently roll down through the back. Soften your knees, arms hang and relax. And then breathe in and gently rebuild through your spine. So we're going to be rolling down to come down to the floor this time, okay? Chin to the chest, breathe out, gently roll down. Now at your lowest point, you're going to carefully walk your hands forward and lower your knees down. So your knees need to be hips distance apart, okay? They help you to balance, but we're coming into push up first, so you might find that you don't want to use those knees once we build up the levels. So hands are coming out slightly wider than the shoulders. You're gonna breathe in, bring the chest down. Breathe out, lift up, and I'd just like you to take one arm to the side. Breathe in to lower, breathe out to lift, and bring the other arm up. If you feel too worried to bring your arm up because you think you're gonna fall on your face, then don't worry, just keep the arms down, okay? Level one is on those knees. Breathe in to gently lower. Breathe out, lift up. As the arm comes up, we're not moving the rest of the body. We're just moving through the shoulder. Level two, legs are further away. Breathe in to lower. 
breathe out to lift, arm comes up. And if you want level three, you're coming up onto the toes, so the knees are off the floor. You probably can do the push-up bit, but not the arm bit. Breathe in to lower, breathe out to raise, and lift. But don't do it like that. Control it, slow, controlled moves. At your level, and you're using the pace, the depth of your breathing, okay? Breathe in to gently lower, out to come up and raise. Breathe in to lower, out to come up and raise. Good, breathe in to lower. And you're just gonna do one more in your push-up. Once you've completed that, you need to bring your knees back under the hips and you need to bring those arms back in, elbow, shoulder, wrist, all in line with each other, okay? Flat back, don't arch or dip the spine, okay? Tabletop back. Breathe in, as you breathe out, you're gonna push one leg back. We're gonna build it up gradually, okay? Then breathe in and drag the leg back in. Other leg. Also, it's good to build it up through the levels. Rather than just take it for granted that your body is going to go to a higher level, it's best to work up the level because then that way you can ensure that you're going to get the best technique. You're going to make sure your core is engaged, your neutral spine is in place, your breathing is good. Instead of just rushing ahead, finding the level you normally work at, when actually your body might not want to work at that level today. Next option, breathe out to lengthen and raise. Breathe in to lower and draw back in. Breathe out to lengthen and raise. Breathe in to lower and draw back in. All the time, you've got your core muscles in place. Next option, opposite hand slides out along the floor. Toes touch down at the furthest point. Arm and leg pull back in. Last option, arm pushes out in front, lengthens and raises at the same time as your leg. And I'm just going to ask you please, at your level, for two more on each leg. Remember, you don't have to lift that leg at all. You can stay your level one, just push out and pull in. Level two is just that leg lengthen and raise. Level three, push the arm out. Level four, raise the arm. And once you've done those four, you're gonna gently allow yourself to come down. Four arms and elbows are down. You're gonna look down between your wrists. You're gonna draw your pelvis up and hold. Now you're looking down, don't hang your head. Try not to creak your neck up either. Look down between the wrists. It's difficult because I don't know what device you're looking at because obviously sometimes you need to move your head to look at what you're doing, same as I'm having to do to talk to the camera. But as soon as you've got the idea of the exercise, Try and keep your head in the right place, okay? So from here, you're gonna breathe in. As you breathe out, raise one leg. Breathe in, bend. Breathe out, lengthen. Breathe in, lower. Breathe out, lift the leg. Breathe in, bend. Breathe out, lengthen. Breathe in, lower. So we've got a one leg kick, which not only is gonna work the core and the lumbar spine, but also the back of the thigh through your hamstring and your glutes, your bottom. Now, if you don't want to lift the leg, just hold the base position. Breathe out as you lift, in to bend, out to lengthen, in to return. Strengthening through the core and the lumbar spine. And I would like you please, for one more on each side. If you're not adding the kick, two more breaths. 
And once you've completed those two, gently lower all the way down on your front and extend your arms all the way out. So once we get going, head down. We're gonna work on one leg only, okay? So stick to the same leg. Head down. Belly button drawn up, so don't let it drop. Imagine you've got an arm marble underneath that belly button, okay? Breathe in, breathe out, lift one leg up. Now keep it as straight as you can. If you lift it too high, you're gonna to want to bend. And we wanna keep this leg as straight as possible. We're gonna breathe in, breathe out to take it out to the side. Breathe in to draw it back in. Breathe out to take it out in to bring it in. If you want to go further, opposite arm up, you can move the arm out at the same time as the leg, yeah? Breathe out to go out, in to come in. Point the fingers, point the toes. Whole breath out to go out, whole breath in to come in only as far as comfortable for you. And with this side, I would like two more, please. Then allow the arm and the leg to lower. Take a second. And then when you're ready, you can raise the other leg. Breathe in. Breathe out, it goes out. Breathe in, it comes in. You've then got the option of adding the opposite arm. And you're only taking them out as far as comfortable for you. So only allow them to move out as far as comfortable. Keep the hips fixed and still. Keep the belly button drawn up. I'm going to ask you please for two more breaths this is a variation of swimming which is the exercise we did on our hands and knees when you've completed those arm and leg lower slide those arms back so we're going to come into a hip drop which is going to work for our core and through our obliques and strengthen the back Come up into base position, knees down, breathe in, breathe out, lower the hip to one side, breathe in, bring it back to the middle, breathe out, lower the hip to the other side, breathe in, come to the middle, breathe out to lower, breathe in to return, breathe out to lower, breathe in to return. So you're gently allowing the hip to lower. If you want to go further, bring the knees up. Breathe out to lower, in to return. Keep going. All the time, think about your breathing. Breath out to lower down. Breath in to come to the middle. Breath out to lower to the other side. Breathe in to come to the middle. Draw up through the core, strengthen through your back, don't allow it to dip or arch. Knees are down or up, and you're gonna do one more to each side, please. Once you've completed those two, you're gently gonna release, and turn onto one side. And you're gonna lengthen all the way out. Head rest down on the arm. You're gonna point the fingers, legs lengthened, point the toes. This hand, that is there for your balance, okay? Breathe in. As you breathe out, lift both legs. As soon as you lifted your legs, the obliques, the waist, began to work, okay? The core, the lumbar spine are all working to keep this posture in place. Breathe in. As you breathe out, you're gonna lift your top leg. As you breathe in, you're gonna lower. 
Now you're gonna move your top leg again, but it's gonna come forward. Breathe out to kick forward, breathe in to return. So you've gotta lift up and a kick forward just with your top leg. Your bottom leg is lifted, held and still. Now you're only moving that leg as far as comfortable for you. If you move it too far and your hips roll, make it smaller. If you've got good balance, you're strong enough, take that other hand away so you're relying purely on your posture. Strength from the core. You could bring that arm all the way over. Now you'll see as soon as I moved my arm, my movements became smaller. And that is because I have to work harder to keep my balance. I could take the leg further, but I wouldn't have much control over it. So I wouldn't be working effectively. Does that make sense? Good. You're probably all going no and I'm going, good, that's good. I'm glad you understand. No, I'm sure you do. So with your top leg, I would like you to make one more of each movement and then bring those legs together, hand is there or not. You're gonna breathe in, lower the legs an inch from the floor and then breathe out to bring them back up. Breathe in, lower an inch from the floor, breathe out to bring them back up. Breathe in to lower, breathe out to raise. So this is your side raise working through the obliques, the core, and the lumbar spine. Breathing out as you raise, in as you lower. Don't quite touch the floor. I'm gonna ask you please, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but my legs are actually shaking because my body is tired. Good. That's my bottom leg. Good. And then gently allow them to lower. You need to give the hip a little bit of a rub, please do. If you get those kind of muscle shakes when you're exercising, not just with Pilates, it is a sign of muscle fatigue, okay? So the best thing you can do is just rest for a moment and then join back in when you're ready. It's just where your muscles, your body's saying, actually I've worked that muscle long enough for a moment, can you just give it a rest? That's all it is, okay? Sitting upright, legs bent, feet down. You're gonna breathe in, tilt the pelvis under and lift the legs. So bring your legs together for me. Breathe in, as you breathe out, you're gonna kick your right leg towards the left wall. Breathe in and return. Breathe out, kick your left leg towards the right wall. Breathe in and return. So you've got your tailbone tucked under. You could have your hands there for a little bit of support if you need to. When you move the leg, keeping those bottoms down on the floor. If you want to go further, both legs go out together. Now, if you needed to, you could always keep your toes in contact with the floor, okay? But if you can, hover just above the floor. And this is called the can-can. Breathing out as you kick in as you return. Tailbone tucked under so we're strengthening the lower back. The core muscles are helping to keep that posture so they're working. You've got the obliques, you've got the quads and the hamstrings. I'm going to ask you please for two more kicks at your level. Once you've completed those, place those feet back down. So a good mobility exercise for your back is rolling back. Please make sure you're not gonna bang your head on anything. First option, your feet are on the floor, you breathe in, tilt, roll, and then you breathe out, you come back up, feet come back down. Okay, level one. Level two, hover those feet, breathe in, tilt, roll, breathe out, come up, legs are still hovered. So choose one of those two and get started. Breathe in, turn and roll. Breathe out, lift up. 
Now don't go too fast. Try not to bang your head. Remember, feet come down for your basic level, your level one, your beginner level. Then if you want to go further, you come into what's called the crab. You cross your legs, you hold your feet, breathe in, tilt and roll, breathe out, come up, don't drop the legs down. So rolling back, strength, woo, don't do that either, don't come forward. Strength and mobility for your back. You're using your core muscles to a degree to help get you back up. Remember, level one, feet come back down. Level two, feet hover. Level three, legs are crossed. And in your roll back, I would just like two more repetitions, please, at your level. And once you've completed those two, can gently roll down and bring those feet to the floor. So we're going to have our legs bent. You need to make sure your lumbar spine, your, your neutral spine is in place, okay? So you might find you just need to tilt your pelvis a couple of times and get comfy, okay? So you should be able to touch your fingertips together underneath the small of your back. Hips are parallel, legs are bent, shoulders down relaxed. Breathe in, breathe out to lift one leg up, right angle in the knee. You should be able to reach your knee. If you can't, your leg is too far away. If you can, but you've got a big bend on your elbow, then your leg is too close. So right angle, shin, front of the leg is facing the ceiling. You can stay here at level one. You can take this further, breathe in. As you breathe out, you're gonna lengthen, and hold. Knees parallel, core muscles zipped up, pulled in and in place. So this is the hundred, this is an adaption of the hundred, okay? Straight for the core and the lumbar spine. Now if you want to go further, bring up the upper body, palms face the floor, chin is off the chest, breathe in. Breathe out, one, two, three, four, five pushes down. Breathe in, Breathe out, one, two, three, four, five. Now you could do this little pulse and keep the leg bent if you prefer. You have got another level. You're bringing the other leg up into right angle. One is bent, one is straight. Core muscles in place. Don't change the legs over because we'll come to that in a little while. You can have that leg down or up. You can have the upper body raised or down. So at the level you have chosen, please complete two more deep full breaths. Once you've completed your two, if you've got both legs lifted, this bent leg comes back down, upper body down, bring that leg back to bend. Now keep that leg bent for me, okay? Breathe in. As you breathe out, I want you to take it out to the side. Breathe in, bring it back in, and then breathe out, touch the foot down. Breathe in, bring it back up. Breathe out, you're gonna open the hip like it's a door, open and close. Then you're gonna gently lower and raise. Core muscles zipped up, pulled in and in place. Now, it is very important that we keep this other knee absolutely still. If you did want to go to the next level, then you're bringing the other leg up but we're keeping it still. If one of these movements is uncomfortable, just do the one that you're okay with, yeah? Remember your movement is coming from the top of the leg, through the hip, and not from the knee. Don't move your knee. So we've got a scissor, and a little hip opener. I'm gonna ask you please, for one more of each of those moves, if you've got both legs lifted, the still leg comes down, and then gently bring that first foot back down. Give yourself a moment, check your technique, check your posture, your core, everything in place, breathe in, 
breathe out, lift the other leg. Make sure you've got that good start position. You can stay here, engage the core and just hold. Or breathe in and as you breathe out, lengthen, knees parallel, point the toes away. Deep full breath, just maintain the core and the lumbar spine. Or come up, palms face the floor, chin off the chest, breathe in. Breathe out, one, two, three, four, five. Breathe in and hold. Breathe out, one, two, three, four, five. If you want to go further, you're bringing the other leg up, but keep it bent. Now you don't have to have that leg raised. You don't even have to have the leg lengthened. You can keep it bent. You don't have to have the upper body up. So hopefully there's a level for everybody. So here is your level one, just hold it still. Level two today, we're lengthening. I say today because there's other options that I do, depending on what mood I'm in. Uh -huh. And then you can add that pulse. You can add that other leg. Strengthen the core and the lumbar spine. Carry on for me, I just need to have a quick drink. You're gonna take three more deep, full breaths. like I'm a mermaid look how funny so from here if you've got the other leg raised place that foot down upper body comes down bring that leg back to bend keeping this leg bent at a right angle don't lower the heel breathe in breathe out you allow it to come out to the side Breathe in, you bring it in. Breathe out, you touch the foot down. Breathe in, you lift the leg up. So the exhale, the out breath, is taking the leg out. The in breath is bringing the leg back in. This other knee, absolutely still. Imagine you've got a cup of tea on that knee, yes? You mustn't wobble the leg. And you mustn't change the angle of that leg. Moving from the top of the thigh through the hip flexor, not from your knee. One breath to take it out, bring it in to bring it, breathe in to bring it in, breathe out to lower the foot down, breathe in to bring it up. And I'm going to ask you please, with these two exercises, using your deep full breaths, For one more of each move, please. Remember, you could have had that other leg raised a bit late for me to tell you that now, but it's there. I'm gonna ask you then, once you've done those two, one of each, place that foot down. Feel free to give yourself a nice, long body stretch. When you are ready, we are turning on to our other side. And we are lengthening the body out from the fingers down to the toes. Head rests down on that arm. Core muscles in place. Nice long body. Hand is there. Breathe in. Breathe out. Lift. As soon as you lift, your oblique, your waist begins to work. Okay. If you can, take the legs back down. Place the hand on the waist. And as you lift, you should be able to feel that those muscles contract, they get harder, okay? So top leg, breathe in, breathe out to lift, breathe in to lower. Breathe out to kick, breathe in to return. Breathe out to lift, breathe in to lower. Breathe out to kick, breathe in to return. So that bottom leg is lifted, held and still. If it's too much, take the leg down. You want to go further, take the supporting hand away. Ooh. So I can't actually kick very far without my hand there, whilst maintaining my posture. If you're super good, then you can take that arm all the way over. 
The range of movement is absolutely dependent on you. But please don't compromise that posture. Keep everything in place. And I'm going to ask you, please, for one more of each move. Then you're going to keep those legs lifted, held, and still. From here, you're going to breathe in. They lower, but don't quite touch the floor. And then breathe out, they come back up. Breathe in, they lower. Breathe out, they come up. Breathe in, they lower. Breathe out, they come up. Keeping that body in a nice, long line. Hand is there for balance or take it away or even take it over. Side raise, work straight through that waist. Only lifting as far as comfortable, not quite going all the way down to the floor. And in your side raise, please complete two more breaths. You know if it's too much, just hold it still. Once you've completed your two, you can allow those legs to come all the way down. Give that hip a little bit of a rub if you need to. From there, please carefully bring yourself round into a box position, okay? But all we're going to do is a nice cat stretch, breathing round the spine, chin to the chest. Breathe out and release. Breathe in round that spine, cat stretch. Breathe out and release. Good. Breathe in round that back. And breathe out. From here, all I want you to do is sit back on your heels or as far as you can go and lengthen out those arms. Well done. Carefully walking the hands towards the knees. You're going to curl the toes under and come into crouch position. If you need to hold on to something to help you up, then please feel free to move towards that thing, okay? So when you're ready, you're going to tuck the chin into the chest, place the feet down, and then gradually, slowly, begin to roll up through the back. Rebuild the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, all the way to the top. Head and neck raise last. Relax the shoulders down. Actually got a bit hot and sweaty in that. Good. So make sure, look, you have to rearrange all your clothes, your hair, everything. Make sure you're balanced and central as you were at the beginning. Not lopsided, not leaning. Shoulders down and relaxed. Lengthened posture. Core muscles in place. Lift up onto the toes. And release. Your challenge of the day is to try and keep your core muscles in place and your neutral spine in place for as much of the day as you can. Lift up and hold and then close your eyes if you can to see if you can balance. Which I'm surprised because I've got a headache. Good. And release. Well done. So that is it for today for your Pilates. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully you managed to take something out of that at a level that was comfortable for you. Um, at four o'clock, we have got our aerobics. So I'm trying to make sure that, there we go. Maybe it's because I'm too close, so it keeps going dark. So you've got your aerobics at four, which is complete opposite to this, jumping around, lots of bouncy movements. Um, we are back on Monday. We've hit at 10 and aerobics at four. Pilates is on the game. I want to say on Wednesday at four. Um, if you want some more Pilates, please take a look at our YouTube channel, okay? There are plenty in there. And also on our Facebook feed, we're 
we're bringing out two Pilates a week, so they're on the feed, okay? So well done for today. Take care, have a lovely, lovely weekend, and I'll see you again next week. Take care, bye for now.